I mean, you already mentioned uh, that the first metatarsal, so Halux valgus is incredibly prevalent in Belay. What, what are the main contributors uh, to that pathology and to what extent can, be, can it be addressed through targeted training? Sure. I guess um, to start with, we should acknowledge that you can have a Halux valgus without symptom. So they're mm. very commonly not painful. And if we look at some of the literature, the you know one study that looked at retired dancers that showed a high prevalence of Halux valgus, in fact, um, they weren't symptomatic. So there's that real mismatch between abnormality and even what we see on radiology and symptom. Having said that, we certainly want to prevent any acquired Halux valgus. And, you know, that could be due to really tight shoes, pointy shoes, um, and some of the change of direction. I see this not only in dance, but uh, certainly in football as well, where they they wear their yeah. tight shoes. Um, so key to this is screening. We screen all our dancers when they join the company. And really anyone who's got a hint of uh, Halix valgus will prescribe mm-hmm. toe spacer, one of those silicon toe spacers. Yeah. And I certainly use um, taping in my rehab. Um, so taping's not a great long-term solution. So a toe spacer is a better long-term solution. But short-term, I like to tape up the foot to um, address the valgusing, but also to give a little bit of resistance to MTP joint extension. Uh, 